Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Hmm. Not quite America's Dream Mall, is it? This place may have been a thriving hangout at one point, but it's definitely seen better days. Luckily, this security office is still around to keep an eye on things. Which brings us to this sketch where we'll cover the anatomy of the eye, following the path light takes as it travels through the eyeball. A quick word of warning before we get started though, the mall cop running this place is a bit quirky. I wouldn't make direct eye contact. Before we venture inside, let's suss out the exterior of this security office. It represents the fibrous outer layer of the eye, which consists of the cornea and the sclera. The cornea is the clear domed part at the front of the eye. We've symbolized it with this glass window complete with some sweet corn graffiti to help you remember cornea. There are no blood vessels in the cornea, but don't go poking around, it's still got plenty of nerves. The rest of the fibrous layer consists of the sclera, the white of the eye. The sclera also lacks blood vessels. Its main job is to provide structural support, much like these white walls. The sclera is covered by a fine mucous membrane called the conjunctiva. The conjunctiva lines the inside of the eyelid and then doubles back to cover the sclera. Very similar to the way this clear plastic sheeting drapes over the awning and down over the walls. This creates a pocket behind the eyelids that prevents any debris from slipping around the back of the eye. A very good thing for anyone who wears contacts. Anywho, the conjunctiva provides protection and lubrication to the front of the eye, and it has a rich blood supply, which you can actually see when your eyes get bloodshot after a crazy night of studying. Okay, now let's take a peek inside. As we move into the eye, the next deepest layer is the vascular layer. The vascular layer consists of the choroid, iris, and ciliary body. These colorful iris-patterned curtains symbolize the iris, the muscular, colored part of the eye. Similar to how the curtains control how much light gets into the office, the iris controls the amount of light that enters the eye through the pupil, which we represent here with that small, dark peephole. 